Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is a beautiful Anacademy Need PG platform and most importantly today we're going to talk about the second half of Neonatal Resuscitation Protocol. This class will be exactly for 30 minutes. In the first half in the evening 9 p.m. class we have beautifully covered regarding the first half of our uh, beautiful uh, uh, what you called uh, uh, Neonatal Resuscitation Protocol where we understood some important points regarding that. Okay, so let's start this session. My name is Dr. Anand and uh, in the Anacademy Academy, first of all I would recommend everyone to give a lot of amazing tests as the exam is around the corner I uh, request everyone to give this amazing anatomy biochemistry anesthesia test as much as possible because test is important it will give us a good level of confidence and also it will let us know where are we lacking hello Vaidehi hello Zaiba and also on May 1st at 9 a.m. we have this beautiful all India mock test and uh, you know it's free only so just you have to use the code Dr. Anand and you can just open the test unlock the test and give it give as many tests as possible it's good okay also on the Un Academy, we have something known as plus subscription and something known as iconic subscription in the plus subscription you get all the amazing uh, access to the live and recorded classes educators are good uh, content is nice because uh, we are studying we are, we are teaching amazing and so this is plus subscription in the iconic subscription you have the Un Academy platform and also the prep ladder subscription all the amazing clinical notes video lectures question bank rapid revision everything we have on the iconic subscription also at the same time for the new students we have introduced something known as an academy light a very light pack for the light students light-hearted people like us so basically two months pack we have for this one as the exam is just around the corner with the previous year question papers and mock test papers and grand test series it's good I mean it's, it's really good you, you should take uh, this light one it will be easy for you for the MBBS first year students for pertaining to next exam we had a batch already started from April 20th like today is 23rd and we have this the duration price and pre-launch price with the months wise and everything also at the same time need PG previous year question bank like we have a dedicated section section in our unacademy app go to the unacademy app uh, press on self-study press on uh, touch the practice button and go subject wise with amazing uh, PYQs previous year question papers Meena, Shubhangi, Osama, Sheikh, Osama, Sham ko nia tu bro Shubhangi kere sir Osama has fever yet he is here Osama bukhar kaise hoga tere ko kaise hua kya sab tabhi thik hai tere I think Osama is taking stress I get because of his mom I think he is taking little stress I will give you a call okay tere ko mein kal call karta hum bro thik hai khyal rakho apna also at the same time on the unacademy we have this amazing daily practice paper dpp daily practice papers are there i hope you guys are solving also at the same time if you are new to unacademy download unacademy app because we have some amazing special classes happening on the unacademy you never miss the classes because all the lectures are recorded and we have already made a batch for the fmg high yield revision mcq batch with other amazing 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 you know faculties we have also yes i have told you the plus subscription icon subscription and the light subscription so take light and be light and that's it and being an MBBS student sometimes it's difficult to buy an expensive pack but if you use the code any code the here the code is Dr. Anand it will be nice okay Shubhangi, Meena, uh, Osama and amazing beautiful people let's start this session will be exactly for 30 uh, minutes and let's make the most of it before starting any amazing segment we always have a motivating quote and today's motivating quote is life is the most difficult exam life is the most difficult exam many people fail because they try to copy others not realizing that everyone has a different question paper so it's a very beautiful this thing no like everyone has their own way of studying no uh, maybe i like to study in the night but there are some people who get up in the morning four o'clock and study right i can't copy him or her and he can't copy me right so life is the most difficult exam because many people fail because they try to copy others if i study like him i will get a top rank if i if i think like her then i will be the best one so don't don't copy be yourself now because why why should i be myself because everyone has a different question paper my journey is different your journey is different everyone has a different question paper so it's a very beautiful quote don't you feel it's this quote is night osama quote kaisa laga bro <laughs> exactly so life is the most difficult exam many people fail because they try to copy others not realizing that everyone has a different question paper right so very beautiful quote okay so with a good positive vibes let's just finish this 25 minutes of the amazing class and 
that's it so i'm going to just yes exactly uh, yeah okay <laughs> shubangi says but i cheat sometimes on sundays by waking up late yes i agree i agree with you <laughs> okay hey rp what's up acha rp your full name is arpita pancholi so you are the arpita rp okay i thought rp is a different girl and arpita pancholi is a different girl in the previous class we had covered that if the baby has come a newborn baby just now born the what is the first thing i will see we told t t c nothing but a term tone or cry this is the first thing we see when the baby is born if the baby is a term with a good tone and crying nicely what do you want to do i want to do routine care and routine care in depth and beautifully in detail in the previous 9 pm class we have already covered that but i assume we know that right perfect let's move further now if the baby has not cried immediately after birth can you please tell me what to do now like the baby is not a term the tone is not that good okay and the baby did not cry cry immediately after birth how do you proceed this case dr osama could you please give us some some uh, roshni darling is could you put some light and explain to us that what i should do the baby has not cried immediately after birth don't cram okay have a concept hypothetically think that the baby has come in the labor room not crying you just limp like this okay so what do you want to do exactly osama says p s s r okay that sounds cute so the better answer would be can i ha huh, so can you say initial steps yes or no can i use the word initial steps are you understanding initial steps is with a five marks question again for the mbbs final year students what are initial steps in neonatal resuscitation and that initial steps only of course that initial steps only is nothing but pssr what is pssr can anyone please tell me number 1 is position then we have suction then we have stimulation and then we have reposition i'll repeat again what are we talking here sir the baby has not cried immediately after birth what are you doing i want to make the baby cry it's as simple as that because it is it is good to give you know it's better to give no baby than giving a bad baby so i want a baby i want the baby to cry right because the lungs will inflate and baby will take the breath and the the, the oxygen will go to the brain so yeah to make the baby cry i will do something known as initial steps nothing but position suction stimulation and reposition if i quickly ask you about the suction I, I, in the previous class only we have covered what do you want to suction first do you want to suction the trachea first do you want to suction the nose first or do you want to suction the mouth first so everyone knows alphabetically m comes first then the n comes so you suction the mouth and how do you suction the mouth don't put the whole suction pipe inside the baby's uh, mouth okay angle of the mouth hai na thoda side mein angle of the mouth don't don't poke the posterior pharyngeal wall it's very important don't poke the posterior pharyngeal wall because you will stimulate the vagus nerve and the baby can land up into bradycardia and shock so don't stimulate the posterior as a as a bilkul boni you know superman ki tarah nahi dalni pipe don't put the pipe like a superman put like a batman little on the angle of the mouth it is mouth followed by the nose and tracheal suctioning is never ever done it's obsolete remember if any of the mcq answers is tracheal suctioning followed by nose or followed by mouth no trachea is never suctioned so i'll repeat again the baby has not cried immediately after birth i will do initial steps nothing but position suction stimulation and reposition how do you stimulate a baby can anyone please tell me how do you stimulate a baby how do you stimulate a baby kaise kare ulta kar do usko can i make the baby upside down one junior in my recent classes was telling that sir i will do the baby upside down so baby will start crying should i slap on the back should i put uh, water uh, on the baby kya karna chahiye i i also don't know any please tell me please tell me exactly so uh, yeah the two options we have either you can tickle the sole either you can tickle the sole or you can rub the back you can rub the back for rubbing the back basically where should i keep the baby should i keep the baby in the right lateral position and rub the back or should i keep the baby in the left lateral position and rub the back exactly yeah so meena yes exactly so the best answer would be left lateral why why left lateral i'll put the baby in the left lateral and rub the back okay and then reposition the baby so why left lateral mera to man kar raha right lateral mein kar dete hain i feel like uh, putting the baby in the right lateral can you please tell me uh, which one is why why left lateral is better i will do on the right lateral meri marzi meri marzi anyone yes exactly because the beautiful answer we have is nothing but the angle of the trachea the trachea has 
is little on the straighter angle on the right side and the left side it is little the angle is obtuse so it's very common for the foreign bodies to go into the right side that is why i never put the baby on the right lateral position and stimulate because in the baby might aspirate the contents whatever is in the food pipe the baby can vomit or it can go inside the wind pipe trachea nothing but aspiration so in our family also any of your cousins and father and mother anyone by uh, by any uh, uh, bad luck if anyone gets a seizure at home make sure you keep them on the left lateral position never keep them on the right lateral keep them on the left lateral and rub the back why to prevent the aspiration number two the angle of the trachea basically is little bigger little you know curvy on this side so it's the aspirations will not happen same goes that only a baby has ingested a five rupees coin which side the coin can go more the answer is right side uh, so that's what that's what you need to know okay perfect next question yeah which is the most common drug which is the most common drug used in niku can anyone please tell me which is the most common drug used in niku uh, do we use adrenaline surfactant antibiotics oxygen or naloxone what do you think anyone exactly beautiful beautifully so people are so amazing answer answering people who are answering has a very high chance of clearing this exam exactly the most the, recently only one of my dnb dr aparna she was asking me this question the most common drug used in niku is nothing but oxygen oxygen is also a drug you know oxygen is also a drug you know i remember yeah someone says antibiotic i told her adrenaline is used too much he's like sir anand sir no adrenaline oxygen oxygen is the most common drug used in niku remember that is an exam question okay perfect so okay where were we the baby has not cried immediately after birth okay 15 minutes left 15 minutes over and 15 minutes left then this class is over by 11 30 beautifully we'll cover this topic put your best of the best positive vibes and a very strong good vibes in the class imagine you're reading this for the first and last time and finish it off okay so the baby was not crying immediately after birth i did something known as initial steps uh, which was nothing but uh, position suction stimulation and reposition still the baby did not cry still the baby not cried immediately after birth could you please tell me what to do after this it's still a pura ragada achche se maine malish kari bachche ki bachche tab bhi nahi roya anyone navya navya is a nice name navya misha <laughs> cute cute name misha navya i had a patient yesterday uh, her name was ditya 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 is the other name of goddess uh, this one devi so ditya is also a nice name exactly so misha what do you think uh, okay uh, okay okay now okay mm -hmm. okay okay so shubhangi says bag and mass ventilation okay let's see whether he uh, whether he has whether he and shri has the best answer Achha, everyone is jumping on bag and mask kyun nahi karta bag and mask uh, kyun nahi karoge sir bag and mask if the baby has not cried after the initial steps the best thing i should do is nothing that check the heart rate heart rate is the key heart rate is the key Heart rate will tell me, Baba, what to do if the heart rate is less than 60 and the heart rate is less than 100. If the heart rate is less than 100, what do you want to do? If the heart rate is less than 100, then you touch the back and mask ventilation, okay? And if the heart rate is less than 60, then you what do you want to do? You want to do CC plus BMV. What is that? Chest compressions and back and mask. Chest compressions and back and mask. Hanji, Dr. Osama Sheikh is very well right, dear. So, why did you get sick? You take the drug, bro. The exam is very fast. Take the drug. Take vitamin B also. Multivitamins low. Okay. Exactly. So, Shubhangi, did you understand? Shubhangi, dear, your, your answer was wrong. Okay. I, I asked you, baby did not cry after initial steps. What do you want to do? You told me back and mask. But the answer is heart rate. Will you remember this now, Shubhangi Kaushik? So, yes. Heart rate is the key. Heart rate will tell us what to do. If the heart rate is less than 100, the answer is back and mask ventilation. If the, uh, ventilation. If the heart rate is less than 60, the answer is chest compression and back and mask ventilation. Can any, uh, whether he has already told, the, the ratio is nothing but 3 is to 1. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one like that so i'm doing this one two three bro can you please tell me this you know, finger use kiya mene. is finger technique better or the thumb technique better can you quickly answer this point i have a picture also one second where is the picture where is the picture 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 picture, picture. one second yeah so which yeah very beautiful picture my dear friends is 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 this finger technique better or the thumb technique better can anyone please tell me yes the answer is thumb technique is better that is the first point very importantly okay for how long should i do exactly 15 minutes are left i'm gonna ask you 
60 questions tell me uh, this uh, this 1 2 3 and 1 uh, basically how many people how many people are required to do this maneuver if the heart rate is less than 60 you told me chest compression plus bag and mass ventilation i have two question question number one it is given it is done for how many seconds uh, options are uh, 20 seconds or 30 seconds and next question is how many people are required to do this can i do it alone or anyone required anyone uh, hanji Okay, we have Raccoon, we have Nishi, two ke likha aapne? Two, samjha nahi mein, haa. two people are required. That's very true. Always remember when I'm doing one maneuver, one procedure, bag and mask, alone I can do, okay. Alone bag and mask I can do. But if, if, if we are doing chest compression, then bag and mask, then I'll tell Osama, Osama bro, you do the chest compression, one, two, three, and I will do one. Then someone will do one, two, three, I will do one. But if your thumb is better, okay, like I can't do thumb on me, I can just, it's easy to do like this, but thumb is better, number one. Number two, Hanji, it is done for how many seconds, Osama? Exactly, exactly. Take a second, what's up, Gusha, man? Oh, 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 Dr. Osama, come on, sir. I won't kill you. I asked you, I asked you, chest compression plus bag and mass ventilation is done for how many seconds? The option are 20 seconds and 30 seconds. What is the answer? What is the answer? Osama says 30 seconds. 30 seconds kyo? 30 seconds kyo? if you are doing only bag and mass ventilation then you do it for 30 seconds if you are doing chest compression plus bag and mass ventilation you will do it for 60 seconds 60 seconds mera mood hi kya sahi option dene ka jo karna kar lo i didn't feel like putting the right option i want you to have amazing confidence will you understand acha abhi 60 60 aa raha hai osama idhar aaja galat answer kyon kiya tu aa gaya Bukhar, Bukhar is not an excuse. Mirko Bukhar, maybe Mr. Madurora. Bukhar is not an excuse. Okay, remember. Yeah, so Osama, will you remember this for me, bro? If you are doing chest compression and bag and mass ventilation, you will do it for 60 seconds. If you are doing only bag and mass ventilation, you will do it for 30 seconds. Has everyone understood this much? Please put a like button to this video or please put a like button in the comment section that you have understood so that I can move further. Only 12 more minutes left, then this class is over. Please let me know. ठीक है वेरी गुड सामा ठीक है मैं डाटू तो प्यार उसमें भी प्यार ही है मेरा ठीक है बुरा ना मानना शुभांगी मानसी निशी वैदेही प्रियंका <laughs> प्रियंका आईडीज प्रियंका मिश्रा रोल नंबर 40 दिस इज प्रॉपर आईडी ओके रकून वेयर डू यू सी रकून आईज द आईडीज रकून आई वांट टू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन वेयर डू यू सी रकून आईज एनीवन एनीवन रकून आईज कहां मिलता है डॉक्टर सामा should I give you this homework? Chalo. This is a homework for you. Where do you see raccoon eyes? Raccoon eyes kaha milta? Remember, okay? Perfect. Okay, so next question. So, yeah. We are covering some amazing questions, okay? Let's finish it off. Uh, mein kaha tha? Okay, let me ask you again. Ha, this, can we appreciate this beautiful picture? This is a very beautiful picture. If the heart rate was less than 60, what did you do? Bag and mass ventilation and chest compression, the ratio of 3 is to 1. Like 3 chest compression and 1 bag and mass. Can we appreciate this picture guys? Yes or no bro? Can you see very beautifully, very beautifully we are doing this 1, 2, 3. Which is this technique? Thumb technique or finger technique? This is a thumb technique. And what is this instrument? This is the bag and mass ventilation. Are you understanding? What do you say? Anyone? What is this? What is this? Dr. Sama, what is this? Who will tell Anyone, what is this? This is nothing but reservoir. This is nothing but the reservoir. Reservoir bolte hai isko. Thik hai? Reservoir bolte hai. Thik hai, perfect. Okay, uh, I'm changing the slide exactly. Uh, okay, 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 Meena, that's great. Dr. Benedict, good. Okay, let's come back again to our point. Let's finish it off. Okay, there are a lot of points. I just have 10 minutes with you. Okay, that's it. So if the baby, so let's revise again. If the baby has cried immediately after birth, Malaita term baby, good tone and crying ttc what do you want to do the answer is routine care routine which you do in every baby if the baby has not cried immediately after birth or not a good tone or a not a term baby what do you want to do i want to do initial steps initial steps position suction stimulation reposition star mark we have already covered suction mouth followed by the nose uh, now these are the two questions can you please tell me what is the size of the suction catheter can you please tell me 10 more minutes exactly 
exactly uh, dr benedict says you played reservoir video at 9 video today okay okay great hanji that's great could you please tell me size of the suction catheter mujhe bata do ek bar please what is the size of the suction catheter i used to use 6 french 8 french 12 french 14 french yes the answer to that question nothing but 12 to 14 french remember 12 to 14 french is the suction catheter size actually hamare hospital mein to hum 8 french use karte hain but uh, kitabon mein likha hua 12 to 14 french 12 to 14 French usually is a little big, thicker, bigger one. Okay, usually in our hospital we use 8 French, max to max 10 French, but according to books it is 12 to 14 French. Achha, suction pressure, suction machine, na, machine, suction pressure. How much suction pressure should I put? Anyone? 200, 500 centimeter of water or millimeter of mercury? What do you think? Arpita Pancholi, this is a very important question. We have to remember this. Yes, the answer is 80 millimeter of mercury. Okay, or 100 centimeter of water. A, remember only one thing 80 millimeter of mercury is a, is a good answer okay osama not 80 centimeter of water it is 80 millimeter of mercury okay say how will i remember sir what is the normal blood pressure of a of an adult patient what is the normal bp tumhara kitna hai osama mere ko dekhne ke baad to kam ho jata hai wo alag baat hai par waise kitna bp hai 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury yes or no 120 by 80 mm of fg is the normal bp right so the, the last part 80 mm 80 mm hg is the suction pressure also which i should keep okay 80 mm of hg remember that okay remember that perfect chalo next question uh, so baby still not crying after doing the position suction stimulation reposition baby still not crying shubhangi said we'll check the heart rate if the heart rate is less than 100 we will do bag and mass ventilation that part is over if the heart rate is less than 60 we will do chest compression plus bag and mass ventilation that part is over bag and mass is done for 30 seconds whereas chest compression plus bag and mass is done for 60 seconds we have the i assume that we know this okay we know this multiple times i have repeated now my next question is bag and mass okay bag and mass how, how long should i do bag and mass 30 seconds after that what should i do check the heart rate again are you understanding obviously now you'll do for you'll see the stopwatch and do for 30 seconds again you will check the heart rate if the heart rate is again less than 100 then what will you do what is the best answer for this who will tell me please put an answer in the comment section manish arpita uh, shri और सामा क्या करेंगे और अगर गलत आंसर दिया देखो चप्पल कहाँ मेरी नीचे रखी चप्पल मैंने मेरा नौ नंबर है चप्पल का और सही आंसर दिया तो प्यारी प्यारी बातें मिलेंगी ओके अर्पिता सेस कंटिन्यू बैग एंड मास वेंटिलेशन ओके कंटिन्यू अर्पिता सेस कंटिन्यू बैग एंड मास और सामा आल्सो सेस thank god i'm taking classes repeat revision classes i'm taking so osama and arpita is not the right answer bro you don't start the bag and mass again uh, if the heart rate is less than 100 for the second time what will you do the best answer for this question will be ventilation corrective steps the best answer is ventilation corrective steps now this is very important remember ye shabd important hai baba ventilation corrective steps kab karna hai when the second time heart rate is less than 100 you will do ventilation corrective steps wo kya hota sir that is nothing but mr sopa matlab sochne wali baat hai but just thinking you are doing bag and mass okay bag and mass ventilation you are giving doing okay okay so uh, okay you are doing bag and mass ventilation after uh, how, for how long you will do 30 seconds right again you will check the heart rate so again if the heart rate is less than 100 so means my bag and mass ventilation is not proper something is wrong so that only bag and mass ventilation corrective steps means mr sopa number one mask adjustment maybe the, this can we see this picture very important image with this maybe this mask is not proper reposition the airway position reposition the airway suction the baby again open mouth sometimes the mouth is closed i'm not able to do the bag and mask so open the mouth or maybe pressure i will that ambu back pressure i'll increase that or uh, last is airway alternative Nothing but I will airway alternative means means bag and mass is not working properly. Let me just intubate the child and put the patient on ventilator. Means means any other airway alternative that you should know. Okay, uh, Arpita, will you remember this? So that's what. So when are you touching the MR sopa or ventilation corrective steps? When the second time second time heart rate is less than hundred, then you will be touching the. What do you say? Let's go ventilation corrective steps okay remember that okay perfect okay next question 
if the heart rate was less than 60 okay six more minutes then this class is over if the heart rate was less than 60 tab kya karte hain waise yes if the heart rate is less than 60 what do you do i will do do chest compression and back and mass ventilation right in the ratio of 3 is to 1 hai na just now we covered 3 is to 1 okay yes so 1 2 3 1 number 1 very importantly for how long should i do this anyone for how long should i do this back and mass ventilation let me just close the other channel yeah so how long should i do the back and mass ventilation kon batayega anyone yes that's perfect one second okay. yeah for how long kab tak ha so this part is also over yes सॉरी या सो दिन द हार्ट रेट वॉज लेस देन सिक्सटी आई डेट चेस्ट कंप्रेशन प्लस बैग एंड मास वेंटिलेशन फॉर सिक्सटी सेकेंड ठीक है डन आफ्टर सिक्सटी सेकेंड वॉट शुड आई डू अगेन चेक द हार्ट रेट राइट नाउ इफ दाउ द नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज इफ द सेकेंड टाइम हार्ट रेट इफ द सेकेंड टाइम हार्ट रेट इज अगेन लेस देन सिक्सटी देन वॉट टू डू हाँ जी देन वॉट टू डू ओके ओके देन वॉट टू डू सेकेंड टाइम भी हार्ट रेट लेस देन सिक्सटी द ऑप्शन आर शुड आई कंटिन्यू चेस्ट कंप्रेशन एंड बैग एंड मास आप होते तो क्या करते हाँ जी अर्पिता पंचोली येस द बेस्ट आंसर इज नथिंग बट एड्रीन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एड्रीन द सेकेंड टाइम हार्ट रेट इज लेस देन हंड्रेड लेस देन सिक्सटी देन यू विल डू एड्रीन सो इफ सम वन आस्क यू वॉट इज द इंडिकेशन ऑफ गिविंग एड्रीन इन न्यू नेटल रिसेशन द आंसर इज इफ द हार्ट रेट इज लेस देन सिक्सटी आफ्टर सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स ऑफ chest compressions and bag and mass ventilation very important remember that okay uh, i hope you have got it in the dose of adr everyone knows let me just show you one nice picture yeah so adrenaline right adrenaline so a yeah adrenaline so the dose of adrenaline everyone knows about it 0.1 to 0.3 ml per kg in 1 is to 10000 dilution okay the dose of adr is 0.1 to 0.3 ml per kg in 1 is to 10000 dilution adrenaline comes the ampule comes in 1 is to 1000 dilution but i make 1 is to 10000 i make 1 is to 10000 okay aata hai adr ka ampule 1 is to 1000 mein hai but i make 1 1 is to 10000 dilution remember okay this part is over okay and can we give adrenaline intratracheal anyone can we give adrenaline intratracheal what do you think do you can you give adrenaline intratracheal obviously very beautifully uh, osama has already told yes the adrenaline can be given intratracheal and the drugs which are given intratracheal are the mnemonic is naloxone uh, uh, the mnemonic is nasal naloxone adrenaline surfactant atropine and lignocaine naloxone adrenaline surfactant atropine and lignocaine but adr dose to ho gaya what is the dose of naloxone kon batayega adr dose to over this is over naloxone ka dose kya hota hai ha ji anyone What is the dose of naloxone? If I have to give count any random guesses, two more minutes, then this class is over. Hmm. Yes, the dose of adrenaline is same only, Baba. Point one. But remember, here it is point one mL per kg. And Shubhangi Kaushik is very right. Here it is point one mg per kg. So point one mL per kg and point one mg per kg same dose. Remember that, okay? That's it. That you should know. Okay, that finishes the whole part. Only let me see if anything is there. Yeah, very good question. What is the SpO two of a newborn at fifth first minute of life and fifth minute of life? Can you please tell me? Two more minutes and this class is over. What is the normal SpO two of a newborn? Aims question at first minute of life and very importantly at fifth minute of life. Who will tell you? Okay, Raccoon says, can we do do back and mass ventilation in meconium aspiration syndrome? Yes, meconium aspiration syndrome is no longer the contraindication of uh, back and mass ventilation. You can do back and mass ventilation in the meconium aspiration syndrome. Just suction the mouth of the baby, and you can do the uh, back and mass ventilation. Yeah, what the first the the SPO of a newborn at first minute of life is nothing but sixty to sixty five percent, and then second minute, third minute, fourth minute, fifth minute, and 10th minute so 
keep increasing 5 5 5 5 5 okay so 60 to 65 then 65 to 70 percent then 70 to 75 percent then 75 to 80 percent then we have 80 to 85 percent and a 10th minute of life it is 85 to 95 percent so this is what very importantly we must understand okay yes this is the spo2 of a newborn first minute of life it is 60 to 65 percent ye yaad rakhna remember this one okay 60 to 65 percent why should i remember this because after every minute 5 5 5 5 you have to increase so 60 to 65 is something you need to know and 10th minute it becomes like your and mine it becomes like your and mine 60 85 to 95 percent 85 to 95 percent this part is over okay this part is done yeah what is the absolute contraindication of bag and mass ventilation anyone like as we know bag and mask ventilation is a it is a self inflating bag right bag and mask self inflate aise dabao to aise apne aap hi ho jata if i press like this it will automatically you know deflate by itself what is the absolute contraindication of bag and mask and ventilation i think everyone knows congenital diaphragmatic hernia cdh so congenital diaphragmatic hernia is the most commonest is the you know absolute contraindication of bag and mask ventilation and one more thing so tef is not the contraindication of bag and mask cleft lip cleft palate tef meconium aspiration syndrome no these are not the contraindication remember remember only one allow your brain for the light information only one thing remember the absolute contraindication of bag and mask ventilation is nothing but congenital diaphragmatic hernia and the most commonest variety of congenital diaphragmatic hernia is posterior lateral variety posterior lateral variety is known as Walker Dalak hernia Walker Dalak hernia the second variety we have is Morgagni hernia Morgagni hernia how will the patient present if I am uh, let me show you a picture okay very good Osama Osama is answering super super hit is answering okay let me show you one picture if I have yeah can we appreciate this picture very very beautiful picture this is a case of congenital diaphragmatic hernia can i appreciate the intestinal contents have gone up yes or no the intestine has gone little up it has compressed the lungs compressed the left side of the lung and lung basically they are like sponge Agar aapne, if you guys have attended autopsy have has anyone of you attended autopsy in forensic medicine i have done many autopsies in my mbbs time i was very curious and but it was very scary but it was very nice midnight two o'clock drowning case comes i used to run away and go that i also want to do autopsy and i i remember i can't tell you but i, I have done autopsies so it's nice in bangalore in my college huh, so uh the, the the i'll repeat again the lungs are like sponge when the intestine has gone uh, congenital means by birth diaphragm this is the diaphragm diaphragm this separates the thorax from the abdomen and hernia there's a protrusion of the intestinal contents in the left side of the chest okay that will compress my whole lung number one number two if in this case if i do a bag and mask uh, the baby can will have pulmonary bleed pulmonary hemorrhage that is why uh, congenital diaphragmatic hernia is the absolute contraindication uh, in a, uh, yeah in a case of cdh you don't touch the bag and mask ventilation that you should know so patient will have distress the patient will have a scaphoid shape abdomen very importantly today also in my medical college i was teaching scaphoid shape abdomen bag and mask contraindicated uh, distress or or uh, very important sama to ne line ni boli bubble sounds in the chest can i write this line bubble sound in the chest yes or no it's a very typical of cdh na bubble sounds in the chest yes perfect bubble sounds in the chest that finishes today's class thank you so much for the participation i hope you guys have understood something that was a part one and part two of this uh, what you called uh, you know uh, of this class and thank you so much i hope you have got it tomorrow morning we have back to back classes tomorrow morning i'm starting with this image based revision tomorrow morning we have the youtube sessions only part one part two and part three so we have one by three 2 by 3 and 3 by 3 on the let's crack neat pg not in this one this is the conquer neat pg channel let's crack neat pg on academy channel only let's crack neat pg go there and uh, i'll sh anyhow the, i'll share the links also with you and uh, what do you called um, tomorrow morning 9 30 am i have this class okay 9 30 am okay 
9:30 30 am we i have a class then 12 o'clock i have a class three classes i have then 2 30 i have a class okay tomorrow three classes we have image based revision of pediatrics back to back on the youtube channel on the let's crack meet pg and if you are free then do come tomorrow morning the class starts 9:30 30 am image based revision okay dr neha thank you thank you thank you thank you so much everyone i hope you were benefited little from this class and before leaving we always have a motivating quote which says believe in your dreams believe in your dreams they were given to you for a reason believe in your dreams they were given to you for a reason sometimes i think oh my god being a doctor is so tough how do people manage i can't even enjoy my life and this and that but uh, but you were given this for a reason just think that way like right now i'm teaching maybe i was maybe i am good at teaching that's why i think i'm teaching right so it was given the teaching was given to me for a reason so believe in your dreams because once you believe you're halfway there if you believe you will get a neat pg rank you're halfway there i don't think so it is so tough i am trying let's see what happens if you have this attitude then the result also will be like let's see what happens if you like no i'll do it result will be i will do it and you will do it and you will get a rank so believe in your dreams they were given to you for a reason thank you so much everyone for this wonderful participation have a wonderful evening ahead and uh, i mean good night see you tomorrow morning 9 30 am let's crack neat pg and academy channel with the image based revision bye 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 priyanka bye shubhangi bye osama bye benedict bye dahi everyone exactly mm -hmm. Osama keh raha hai headache ho raha hai par tab bhi aapki class miss nahi karna cha raha thank you bro this only will definitely reach make you some kahi tumhe bahut badi jagah leke jayega ye sab kuch theek hai so everything by the end of the journey will make sense okay so my blessings and my good vibes are with you and for everyone good night bye